So welcome back to another video. It's your boy Sweet, and we are talking about the situation with Doja Cat's brother and the uh, restraining order and everything that has been placed by the mom. Um, it's just crazy because we don't really ever think that people in these high statuses or these celebrities have these normal issues. And I wouldn't say normal as in this is just something that happens all the time or something that we're all used to, but to be real, a lot of us are used to this. A lot of us are surrounded by this. And it just boggles my mind that sometimes we could think like, ah, they don't go through it. But man, we all do. It doesn't matter where on the ladder you are, whether you are unknown or you are known, we all go through these different things. And we are talking about the seriousness and the danger and the scary situation of this whole situation. And it's crazy, right? Because we see it and the mom has made these allegations, put this restraining order, you know, getting trapped out of the house, all these different things, Doja Cat getting her teeth knocked out, all these different allegations. And I'm not saying none of them are true. I ain't saying they are true. But the thing is, I've, I've witnessed domestic violence. I've witnessed all that different type of stuff. And it's a scary situation. Whether you're the one that, that's doing it, and causing fear and harm to others or you're the one on the other end that's dealing with it and receiving it and it's scary either way if you truly think about it and put yourself in both people's shoes which a lot of us don't we only put ourselves in the shoes of the victim but <clears throat> i know some people that's just who they are they're just mean people evil people but some people just black out and they don't even know what's going on and that's a scary part. That's something that a lot of us, if we're going to be truly honest, we don't think about. We don't ever think about it. We don't talk about it. We, out of sight, out of mind, is so far from our thoughts that we don't even care. But it's a scary situation, right? Because we, we look at Doja Cat we're like, okay, cool. She up on the top. She's doing her thing. She's making all this money. Everyone knows who she is. She ain't going to be going through that. She, she, she's so far from that type of behavior, all that type of life, all those different things, but that's something that we can put into perspective. How many things are we turning a blind eye to in our own lives that other people are going through every single day? Because I could definitely say there's so many things I could turn a blind eye to that I know that I know people going through that. Well, I've been through that or whatever it may be I'm just so focused on my life I'm just so focused on all these things and I'm thinking everything's good everything's great and I ain't thinking about that I ain't worried about that right and that's that's where we fall into the slippery slope and we get so con and we get so um, put in our ways and just so comfortable and so overlooking everything that we start to lose <clears throat> this empathy and the sympathy for people <clears throat> and we not necessarily become selfish but we just start only really thinking about our own lives and we're just kind of just coasting by we're just kind of floating on by we just barely getting by to be honest and we ain't focused on the real issues out there we ain't focused on the love and the heart and the and the peace and the protection and all these things that that we could be focused on when it comes to other people around us, whether it's family, partners, whether it's um, strangers, coworkers, who, whatever, whoever it may be, we don't ever focus on it because we are so comfortable and we have these blinders on and that's all we're focused on. And it's scary. It is scary because we ain't talking about it. We ain't focused on it. We ain't even thinking about it. And like I said, this whole situation with Doja Cat, it sucks. You know, it sucks because this is a loved one. This is somebody that you should be able to trust. And that's the hardest thing is the people that love you the most. You need to have these higher standards because just because they are blood, just because they are related to you does not give them the permission to treat you however they want, to disrespect you, to hurt you, all these different things. If we won't even allow strangers or other people to, to do that to us, why do we continue to allow siblings or family to be able to do it to us it just it boggles my mind it's like you know what there has to be that cutoff like you need to have ha hold them to a higher standard will they meet it maybe not maybe they will but the thing is 
if you don't have that center, you just let them walk over you and hurt you over and over. Like you are creating trauma for yourself and putting yourself in these traumatizing situations. And that's just something we want to think about, right? So without further ado, I'm going to have to bid y'all adieu. If you have yet to subscribe, please do that too. And until next time, y'all already know. Salute.